Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Enid High School administration and faculty welcome you to the 2015 May Fate celebration, the 100th year of this Enid High School tradition. And what a year to remember. In recognition of the 100 years of May Fate, an invitation was extended to former May Queens and Heralds to attend the evening festivities. The names of former Queens and Heralds are listed on the back of your program. Due to weather conditions that have caused several postponements of the festivities, many of those who planned to attend were not able to do so. However, to honor those who were able to join us, we would like to have them stand as representatives of the legacy that has served as a timeless celebration for the senior class. Please stand. Our former royalty will lead us to the reception area following the ceremony. In 1915, Enid High School adopted an Old English May Day tradition in honor of the senior class of 60 members. Over the years, May Fate has been interrupted by disastrous floods, times of war, and the Depression. The demographics of the school and its patrons demonstrate changing social attitudes in addition to fashion and cultural transformations. As families and friends gather in support of the senior class, please remember that the evening is not only a 100-year tradition, but one that celebrates the unity of family, the fellowship of friends, and the hopes and dreams for the future. We are honored to have presentation of colors by the Enid High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard, commanded by Cadet Colonel Kara Long. In respect and appreciation for our freedom, would you please stand for the presentation of colors and our national anthem. We are living in a land of progress and many freedoms because of the sacrifices made by others. The freedoms that you experience every day and probably take for granted came through great advances made in the last 100 years in science, medicine, economics, and human rights. Let's look back 100 years. Two years after income tax came on the scene, you were doing about average if you were making $687 a year. That is, if you were a man. If you were a woman, cut that figure in half. There was no minimum wage in 1915. Purchasing a moderate home would set you back $3,200. Homeowner's insurance did not exist, and if you were lucky enough to own a home, it probably contained lead paint, and the insulation was likely to be asbestos. In 1915, a typical new car had a sticker price of $2,000. Mass production and ingenuity helped to drive down prices, but few families could afford this extravagance, and never would a teenager own a car. Let us not forget the price of gas. Six months ago, the average price per gallon of unleaded gas was $2.29. In 1915, you would pay around 15 cents per gallon. One who was paid a $6 per week salary could purchase lunch for 15 cents. When grocery shopping, a loaf of bread would set you back seven cents, a dozen eggs, 34 cents, a quart of milk, nine cents, and a pound of steak, 
26 cents. This calculates to having very little left per week for gas, hence no reason for a car, and it certainly made sense to have a large garden to help feed the family. Movie tickets typically cost 10 to 15 cents if you were a child. Clothing was a luxury. A man's new shoes might cost three to five dollars, while a woman's shoes would range from seven to ten dollars. Today, this would equate to 70 to 233 dollars for a pair of shoes. It is obvious why families did without, considering the layers of clothing that were considered necessities. Vests, gloves, hats, overcoats, petticoats, and knickers, because those who were employed walked to work, and if you were a student, you walked to school. In 1915, the first coast-to-coast -coast long distance phone call was made. The US Coast Guard was designated as a military branch and Pluto was photographed for the first time. Babe Ruth hit his first home run on May 6th and Einstein's theory of general relativity was formulated. The population of the United States was 100,546,000 in 1915 as compared to 322,583,000 one year ago. Woodrow Wilson was president, and the very first stop sign appeared in the city of Detroit. All these facts are mentioned to remind us of how far we have come in 100 years. A lifetime of events and progress have passed in the blink of an eye, bringing us to May 2015, but not without tremendous energy, unwavering courage and great physical sacrifice. These events and those in the future will continue to impact the physical, psychological, and moral pulse of a given generation. In keeping with this time-honored custom that celebrates the coming of spring, we are here to honor a class of 425 seniors. Holding true to the tradition of May faith, the senior class of 2015 now formally takes one more step toward the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Enid High School proudly presents the May Queen of year 2015, Gabrielle Michelle Dick and her herald, Robert Connor Angleton. Gabrielle is the daughter of David and Michelle Dick Connor is the son of Lynn and Allison Angleton. Following the Queen and Herald are honor attendant Kamika Ann Ralston and escort Evan Michael Shermack. Kamika is the daughter of Stan and Carol Ralston. Evan is the son of Joseph and Victoria Shermack. May Court members are Tanner Cole Black, son of Kyle and Sissy Black. <laughs> Haven Rochelle Bay, daughter of Brian and Cindy Bay. Patrick Hugh Blevins, son of Gerald and Leslie Blevins. Madeline Jill Black, daughter of Ron and Cindy Black. Corey Blake Gans, son of Dana, Danny and Mariah Maxey and Chris Gans. Camille K. Colmia, daughter of Greg and Beth Colmia. Elliot Keone Holden, son of Bob and Carolyn Holden. <laughs> Abigail Resendez, daughter of Martha and the late Felipe Resendez, and Hamid and Ava Habibi. <laughs> Sam Deng Lee, son of Twi Lee. Margreta Ruding, daughter of Jens and Tina Ruding, who could not be with us this evening. Felix Mora, Jr., son of Felix and Margarita Mora.
Catherine Elizabeth Shuey, daughter of Dr. Brian and Susan Shuey. Braden Paul Rogers, son of Terry and Sherry Rogers. Amina Marie Schweitzer, daughter of Drs. Seth and Eve Schweitzer. Carson Zane Walker, son of Steve and Vanessa Walker. Enid High School proudly presents to parents, friends, relatives, former royalty, and the community of the Enid High School May Court of 2015. In formal procession, the court of 2015.
In formal procession, we present the Enid High School Senior Class of 2015, escorted by sophomore and junior girls.
Continuing in the celebration, please center your attention on the gazebo to view the coronation of May Queen Gabrielle Dick by Connor Angleton. Gabrielle presents Connor with a single rose. Connor presents Gabrielle with traditional roses. The crown. And to seal the moment, a kiss. In honor of the Queen, Herald, Court, and Senior Class, members of the Enid High School Chorus will now sing. In keeping with the traditions of the May Festival, sophomore and junior girls will now wind the Maypole.
seniors to the class of 2015. The world you live in tomorrow is determined by your actions today. With that in mind, be more concerned about your character than your reputation. Your character is what you really are. Your reputation is merely what others think you are. No matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells everything about you. Hardship never justifies poor behavior. Life experiences do leave scars. Some are physical, others emotional. You can either let those scars dictate your life or you can use them to build a stronger life. Challenges are what makes life interesting. Overcoming them is what gives life meaning. Unlike the adage stating that practice makes perfect, practice makes progress, whether in your academic, personal, or professional lives. If you are making progress, you are being successful. However, success does not mean you never struggle. It means you never give up. In spite of your best efforts, sometimes you won't get the results you want. Use these times as opportunities for inner growth, no matter how challenging. Don't aspire to make a living, aspire to make a difference. You will experience a wealth you never knew possible. Don't let your future just happen. Plan it, work for it. This involves three choices. You can give up, you can give in, or you can give it all you got. Life is about nourishment. Nurture your body with exercise, proper nutrition. Nourish your soul with a spirit of service and compassion for others. Positive relationships are far more precious than any drug you take, any job you have, or any material object. Yes, you are free to choose, but you are not free from the consequences of your choice. You will never find the significance of your life if you continue to feel that it's all about you. Find your passion and be willing to make the sacrifices it will take to succeed. Share the rewards of your accomplishments with others, but remember to excel with humility and to suffer through your losses with grace. And most importantly, seniors, the moment you start acting like life is a blessing, it will start to feel like one. The administration and faculty of Enid High School now invite our former Queens and Heralds to be escorted to the reception area by Assistant Principal Tommy Parker. We certainly thank them for coming this evening. It has been a pleasure to have them. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining in our celebration. And we invite you to join our honorees at the reception that follows. Thank you for joining in our celebration for the class of 2015. We wish you a pleasant evening with family and friends and a safe trip home. Good evening.